What's up, Cast Nation? Big Rob here, coming to you from the Valley of the Sun. We're in a balmy 100 degrees, and uh, man, we are slowly but surely getting away from summer and getting into the winter time. We don't have a fall here, so it'll just kind of one day be nice and cool. Other than that, um, you guys have seen the video, hopefully, of uh, the passing of my good friend Zeus. Um, he was my male Connie Corso that we had just one year and nine months and uh, left us too soon um, due to valley fever. Some people have asked what, what is valley fever? Um, I figured I'd kind of mention that right now. Um, it, it's, it's, um, it's a spore that's found in our soil out this way and uh, it really, it's a nasty disease that can spread really quickly and be deadly if not treated or taken care of. Most people that get it don't even know that they have it. Same with pets, they just kind of take it in and uh, get rid of it, the body takes care of it, but it's it's a fungus and um, it can manifest into a couple other things and it can be really detrimental. Um, for Zeus, he was just such a strong dog. We didn't have any warning signs until he actually, you know, kind of fell down and then we were like, uh-oh, something's wrong. And by then it, it kind of, um, I guess they say it metastasized where it just went throughout his body and it was just too late. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has uh, went on my Instagram or or even on, you know, here on YouTube and um, have shared their condolences. I greatly appreciate it. Um, it was definitely gut-wrenching having to um, put down such a young pup and uh, such a good friend of mine, man, who uh, made every day that much better. And I can't say that for a lot of humans. So it was kind of one of the first dogs that I've had where, um, you know, he really made every day that much better. And, uh, you know, since his passing, it's, it's just been a little different. We have a female at home that's around the same age, Athena. Um, but, uh, you know, things are just a little different. Um, and, you know, we move forward, you know, trying to do the best we can and uh, keep his memory alive at home. And, you know, you never forget the, the ones that, you know, put a lot, you know, gave you a lot and never took a lot. That was, that was his thing. He never really, uh, you know, got in the way of things. He never really did anything, you know, bad for us. I mean, he was always a great dog. Just, you know, you get some of those dogs that they can raise hell and that wasn't Zeus, man. He was always well-mannered. We called him the Ivy League dog, man, because he was like just so prim and proper. You know what I mean? Pretty awesome guy. Nonetheless, um, new happenings in the fitness and bodybuilding world. I'm, I'm bored of it. I, I really don't even want to pay attention to it. Um, you just kind of grow, grow over it. You know what I mean? I, I can't say grow up. I just say you grow over it and you get over it. It's just boring to me. Um, seeing Cali muscle changing his eyes to blue. I, I really don't care. He could paint them purple for all I care. Um, he's not an influencer in my mind. Those that he does influence, you've got to be very feeble-minded. Uh, that's no knock on you. That's just that's just what I think of the guy after all these years. It's just a continuum of lies and perpetuated by just money that he needs to fill his pockets. Because as a felon, he can't get a real job. Um, it just is what it is. Uh, you got big boy, you know, coming at John Bravo for making videos. Um, it's just, ugh just gets old man and, and selling the supplements and feeding you guys a bunch of shit that you don't need but yet you still buy it you still promote it and uh, you think he's your buddy he's not man they're just in it for money no knock on anyone but let's just call a spade a spade you're making money you got to get what you got to get and then of course liver king um man you want to talk about a demise of a human being um and just a, a spectacle of trash um that guy blocked me long ago because he knew that if I came for him, it was going to be pretty harsh, being that he's about five foot five. I think he lied about being five six. I think he's more like five four, five five. Not that that matters too much, but uh, you know, he mentioned it. Not anyone else. He said he's always had a complex. Uh, sounds pretty horrible, in my opinion. Um, and then on top of it, he's talking about drug use and all this, that, and the other. You know, he's just one of those guys that just. Uh, you know, that, that's the, what they do. They lie, they perpetuate lie after lie, and, uh, you know, nothing changes. So if that's the kind of guy that you want to buy supplements from, 
and uh, listen to and and learn how he does things then you know that's on you but uh, for me um, I don't roll that way man I don't I don't need that in my life someone lying to me and telling me that they don't take steroids but then they do and that it's okay and that I came clean you know after a while guys you get in your your late years you don't you don't like hearing that stuff man it's just kind of counterproductive in my opinion but uh, there you have it I guess the, the guy that he's done some work with um, starting his supplement business has backed out so he's probably going in a different direction John Bravo seems to think that it's going in the direction of Netflix man get on him dude whatever whatever it takes to rock your boat bro just do your thing I, I mean at this point there's enough people not to care that care so uh, you know you do what you got to do and uh, have fun with what you're doing it as far as chaos nutrition guys I got to be honest with you over the past couple years I've just seen a lot of folks taking advantage of um, my generosity and it really just gets to you um, knowing that all these years I put in so much work um, and put in so much effort to to make a brand giving out you know free care packages uh, making sure that people are taken care of and then to get no uh, reciprocate from yeah I know to get no um, reciprocation from um, at all and uh, you know you get these packages that we send out and they're two three hundred dollars care packages and to get not even pictures done it's just pretty amazing um, on top of it you know I've worn the same shirts year after year and I hear these people say well I already wore that shirt or I already have that shirt you know, it just gets old, guys. I mean, I wear shirts that are five, six years old. I wear them with pride. Uh, when, they, when there's holes in the armpits, I cut the sleeves off, and I keep wearing the shirts. I guess I just grew up differently. Um, it just gets old, you know? And I get it, a lot of people don't understand. They don't want to put chaos on their page. Well, I don't really want to send out $300 worth of care package for it to go on a story and no one to buy. And then I look at your code a year later and you've got no sales. So it just gets old, right? So I had to take a little step back. I had to figure out what I want to do for the future um, and let pe some people fall off, to be honest with you. Because those that fall off tell me that you were never really down anyways. It was just about what you could get out of something. And, and I understand, it's business. A lot of people think that they're influencers with a few thousand bot followers and you think you're cool. I've been in this game for over eight years, nine years. Um, trust me, man. Um, it, it, it really, uh, you see right through people, you know? And there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, you do what you gotta do to get through. And uh, if that's how you roll, then that's how you roll. I'm, I'm not knocking anyone or calling anyone out. I'm just saying the industry in general changed. Um, after 2020, I noticed the decline and um, you know, on my end point, on my, from my standpoint, from from my vantage point, um, you just have to ask yourself, is it worth the investment to continually support people that don't support you? And that's really what, um, what it all breaks down to. So not revamping the line, but revamping the way I think about things, um, revamping how I do things, um, and taking the time to understand not everyone that's with you actually supports you. They're just with you because they're needed. And uh, like I said, nothing wrong with it. Uh, I get it. Everyone's got their reasons. Uh, I always keep my cars nice and clean. I like everything pretty clean, neat, and neat and steady in the same way. And uh, that's how I handle my day to day life. But nonetheless, um, we'll finish up. I just heard today that Big Lenny passed away. Rest in peace, Big Lenny. I met you uh, one time at an expo, and uh, you're a pretty funny guy, man. Pretty cool dude. Um, I know that he had some fun with the uh, misfits and shared a lot of laughs over the years. And, uh, you know, he's uh, one of those guys that, uh, you know, is large. People know him. And, um, you know, it's uh, sad to see him go. Uh, although, you know, I will say putting chemicals in your body at an obscene rate definitely doesn't help, guys. So be careful out there with what you put in your body. Um, over time, it will take uh, 
take its toll, man, no matter who you are. So rest in peace, Big Lenny. Um, for, for the ending of the video, guys, uh, for those that are in Florida, I wish you uh, a speedy recovery to get your lives back in order. Um, devastation was pretty brutal. Could have been a lot worse, dodged a big bullet, but uh, you folks are just, uh, you're resilient, man, and uh, you're gonna be okay. So uh, I've always thought about moving to Florida. Never really scared me with the hurricanes or anything, but uh, it's definitely uh, unsettling when you see it happen and you got folks down there that you love and care about. Um, so I hope all you guys are well. You're gonna get through it, don't worry. Um, to everyone else, man, stay ride or die for yours continue to get out there and do whatever it takes to be successful and uh understand that you got to go through it to get to it man so i uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in hit up the website castnutrition.com uh look for some fun stuff coming up in the near future i'm gonna have some fun with the uh, website with our athletes and uh man we're just gonna keep pushing forward doing our damn thing so until ne next time guys i'm big rob and i'm out